Hey guys, I'm LB. Last episode, I promised we'd mess with the windows. And, uh, we're gonna try and see what happens when we use the window. Yeah, the beams cross when we do that, which isn't a good thing. Even though the terrain elevation begs to differ. Wait, why is there a window here? to be able to hit this. Wait, can we hit it? Maybe? Oh, we can! Okay. There we go. We did it. sound was kind of quieted for some reason. Did I miss something going on over here? Or did I just walk away from it fast enough that the sound... Does the sound play at that position? That's a strange thing. Um... Oh. Oh, that's... We've been there. What does the sign say? It says we've done everything. Rejoice, child, for you have fulfilled all your tasks in this land. You have conquered all its guardians and solved all its mysteries. Thus, you are appointed its master, and you may do with it as you will. Really? Because I happen to know from one of the previous episodes that we found this. I went in and I went back out. Whoa, there's lots of... Is this like... Is this like other people actually playing the Talos Principle or is this just... I don't know. I'm a 
the heck? Not sure what to make of that. Taunting me. Looks like we're done, so... Let's head on to one of the other ones. Yeah, because we've been able to unlock B for a long time now. Truth only Elohim can save us from eternal oblivion. Interesting. Oh, I'm already on that level. A new land stands before you, my child. And know that this is a land of death, but also great beauty. As you walk amongst these tombs, consider all those who came before you, and how they served the greater purpose of which you are also part. Achievement unlocked the land of death. Okay, so this is the desert area, apparently. Yeah, I think this is the one that I'm working on. Yeah, fans. What about this one? I don't know what that is. Got a little play icon. Alright, well, I guess we just better get started, right? Oops, 
this uses lasers and cubes. I have promised you eternal life. But know that eternity may only be attained by those who serve a purpose greater than themselves. All else is decay. So it was written in the hidden words before the beginning of time. Take paint. I can paint a message? I'm finally getting some sense out of the entity in the archive, though at some cost to my sanity, I am beginning to think this Elaheim wields no more control over the world than we do. Why am I able to paint on the walls? Interesting. How do I drop this? I had the option to drop it a moment ago. Oh. I guess I could just drop it anywhere even after the prompt goes away. That's an interesting thing. Oh, we didn't even visit terminal. I'm 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 sorry. Let me put this uh right there. You always do as you're told. I could I only asked because I couldn't help but notice the stash of brightly colored knickknacks you're collecting. Don't you think it a might odd that the big voice in the sky keeps telling you to find those doodads, yet forbidding you to use them to climb the great big tower in the middle of it all? No need to get huffy, you'd be amazed how many just do as they're told without stopping to think for themselves, but maybe you're different. Then again, maybe you're exactly the same, maybe everyone climbs the tower and the only way to win is to stay down here with the mortals? Nope, in fact, I'm all in favor of you poking up- poking about up there, if only to see what you find. Must be something juicy if it's forbidden by his highness. Then again, maybe not. I'll be off then, just wanted to drop in and run a little inter interference. Whatever you do, take care, you have bigger problems than the voice in the clouds. Okay, Osiris 1. The dying man went unto the scribe who resided in Permagid 1 and said, Behold, I am weak of body. My days under the holy sun of Anun Ra are coming to an end. Though I have spent many years in service of the two lands, I have not studied the blah. Tell me, who are you wise in the writings? Sorry. Tell me, you who are wise in the writings of the dead, what lies ahead on my journey? What will I face in the land of the Westerners? Wait, isn't this something that was being talked about by somebody else earlier? And the scribe spoke, saying, At the appointed time, blah, it is likely the location was changed according to who the copy of the book was made for. The dying man is an avatar of the owner. In the older manuscript, this is rendered as blah, some controversy as to whether it... 3. The dead, compare with Kinjimin, the foremost of the Westerners, a little later given to Osiris. 
Five. Sometimes mistaking for a mistranslation on Budge's part, this is actually almost certainly a mistranslation by the ancient scribe. The equivalent portion of the older manuscript is sadly not extant. Huh, <laughs> what? Uh, no thank you. I don't know about everybody else, but I am afraid of dying. I don't see any reason to believe there's an afterlife. I am an organism like any other, when my brain stops working, my consciousness will cease, and I will just... Sorry, and I will be gone. And you know what? I can't just embrace that. I can't say I'm okay with it, or I've accepted it, or some nonsense like that. I don't want to have an ending. It terrifies me. If I had a genie right now, I'd wish for immortality. Who wouldn't? Oh, but you wouldn't really want to be immortal, the Fudu philosophers say. Pretentious dribble. Everybody who wants to live forever, maybe everybody deserves to live forever too. But we can't, so here we are, live with it, or rather don't. interesting to me, because I kind of agree. Though... Every time I hear about problems with immortality, they're always something stupid that I feel like you could work around. I don't know. It's not an easy question. Okay, we've got five and a star. I think I'll leave the paint there for now. What happens if I fall in the water? Nothing? Okay. him with my graphics like this. Mutation. The role of mutation in evolution is particularly fascinating. Mutation is essentially an error in the organism's central database. A variable gets changed, a piece of information is accidentally doubled or combined with another. Most of the time, the result is the equivalent of a bug, causing anything from minor problems to complete system shutdown, i.e. death. But, sometimes the new information is functional, giving the organism an advantage against the challenges it faces, in which case it has a much higher chance of being passed to the next generation. If you consider how unlikely a beneficial mutation is, and how long it takes for such a mutation to propagate, this process can give you an amazing insight into just how vast the genetic history of each living organism blah. Simultaneously, it is intriguing to consider what a major role random errors have played in the evolution of life itself. The same process that has killed so many of us often in horrific ways, is also responsible for our very existence. Evolution. Capacity. Uh, to Trevor Don- uh, sorry, from Trevor Donovan to Alexandra Drennan. Subject, EL Capacity. Yeah, no worries, EL's not only ridiculously fast, it also has a bazillion tons of space. Even while hosting a full copy of the archive, it'll totally be able to handle all your project's data needs, assuming its output is as you suggested. I mean, the worst case scenario would be, like, centuries. That should be enough, right? Right? Hmm... I have a feeling that more than centuries alone have gone by. 
considering the uh, immense corruption. Let's see... Favorite by George Stevenson. One of the common misunderstandings about evolution, sometimes accidentally promoted by people who should know better, is that it's an active process. Sometimes the term evolve is even applied to individual beings, as if some invisible force had driven them to suddenly change. But the truth is that individuals don't evolve. The term evolution describes a long-term process that can be observed in an entire population across time due to blah. Example, in response to an external threat or challenge. If an individual coincidentally has a trait that allows it to deal with that challenge more effectively than others, it is more likely to pass on that information to its descendants. That information gives them an advantage, so over time they become the dominant model of that species. The individuals experience no significant genetic change during their lifetimes, but each of them is part of the evolution of the species. Yep. And, uh, yep, I think that's it for this episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and goodbye.